Iran Isolated by the West after the 1979 Islamic Revolution has seemed largely immune to anti-government protests with the exception of those that followed the 2009 presidential election. This until 28th of December 2017 when the country was brought to the brink and at least 25 people were killed in nationwide protests. The high prices of eggs triggered an angry demonstration against the government and its inability to contain inflation in the northeastern city of Mashhad. Iran's chronic commodity and food price inflation problem has roots in its subsidy system, one initiated by the hardliner Ahmadinejad government but inherited by the current centrist president Hassan Rouhani. The protests soon spread to other cities like Tehran, Isfahan and Qom and international cities like Rome and New York. The uprising of mostly youth, fueled by social media activism, was co-opted by the conservative opposition. But soon after, the government orchestrated its own show of strength by organizing pro-government rallies. Iran's government, consisting of a clerical upper house and an elected lower house, has also seen frictions of its own. While the supreme leader is a party to all major decisions in the theocracy, not just matters of religion, Ali Khamenei has publicly voiced opposition to Rouhani's economic policies in the media. After the 2017 presidential elections that brought Rouhani back to power, Khamenei was quoted as saying, Mr. President has talked at great lengths about the country's economy and well, he said this should be done, that should be done. But who is he addressing by mentioning the should-dos? The Ayatollah asked before responding himself. As domestic unrest brewed, international parties such as Israel, which is accused by Iran of human rights violations in Palestine, commented on the unrest, terming it a people's uprising. Brave Iranians are pouring into the streets. They seek freedom, they seek justice, they seek the basic liberties that have been denied to them for decades. Iran is known for being a hard state with a notorious reputation for executing its critics. On January 14, however, Iranian officials claim to have released 440 demonstrators placed under arrest. Rising inflation and a slowing economy has meant that Iranians have become 15% poorer in real terms in the last decade.